welcome to the channel thank you so much for clicking on this video uh, before I get started please give this a like and a thumbs up uh, or subscribe um, it would really really help me out I'm trying to grow this channel so uh, I'm doing lots of really cool things um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be building a, um, a brand new lightsaber dagger for a, a very lovely customer of mine who's who's got quite a few different things. I made a daggers, I made two daggers for him already, um, but sadly, when I made those two, two daggers, I hadn't started doing this on YouTube, so I didn't build get the build videos, uh, which was a real shame. Uh, actually, no, I think I did manage to do one of the build videos, but my when I had my phone, it didn't record any of it, which was just devastating. Um, so he's come back to me and he wants another two daggers. Um, and these daggers are going to be very, very labour intensive. There's um, there's a number of parts on these daggers. Well, they're going to take a lot of work to to get to, to shape the size and that sort of thing. So it's going to be lots of mill work, maybe a lot of hand filing as well, a lot of sanding. It's just going to be lots of work to do these. Um, these uh, I'm only doing these two as a complete one off. Uh, there's going to be a build video for one handle and then there'll be another build video for the other handle uh, that's how I'm going to do this um, I've been uh, I'm getting loads of questions from people watching the video so thank you to everyone uh, for the questions uh, I do I do really appreciate the amazing comments that I've been getting from you all um, and you know please I, I really want to try to grow channel. Let, let your friends know try and share these things around with other people so people know about it It'd be a huge help to me it really really would uh, as you can see, the background has changed ever so slightly. Before, there was lots of uh, tubs with crispy plastic around them and things like that. And now, we have these lovely 3D printers. Uh, and you'll be seeing why we have the 3D printers. Hopefully, well actually today, I mean today's the 31st of January, hopefully you'll see why in the next few weeks. Um, right now we have got a few test pieces being printed um, and I actually successfully and finally after huge amounts of tweaks and adjustments and fine-tuning printed my first actual mechanical part uh, it's only a tiny little piece but it's the first piece I printed yesterday and it worked I mean my god this thing's been a nightmare to do um, if you want to know about resin printing, if you want to know about 3D printing and uh, how you design these things, let me know. I may consider doing a video uh, and showing you how it's done. Uh, I, I've never touched um, the design software and I've never even held or seen a 3D resin printer before in my life until I got into it now and it's taken me two, three months of learning. Uh, going through so many things um, to, to get to to this one point now work I think and fingers crossed that I'll be able to print my first real part which is just a, a standard chassis so uh, yeah let me know um, before we go any further uh, I have got a patreon it's three pounds a month uh, but with that you do get a 10% discount you will also get this build video instead of being out in multiple parts it will just be one full video start to finish the whole thing so if you rather if you'd rather have the whole build video as one thing go to patreon sign up you'll get that there along with the other ones uh, there will be more things being uploaded on there so it is a really good thing to have and heck you pay three pounds you get 10 percent off that's a pretty good deal you're making your money back just by making one purchase of any of the lightsabers in the store um so to the project at hand, I am doing a lightsaber dagger, uh, there's two designs I've got to do, I'm not entirely sure which one I'm going to do first, um, they're going to be much more Sith than normal, uh, so that should be really good, I think they're going to both be black because I think that looked kind of sweet um, and he's given me quite free reign to do again he, like last time he's given me a lot of free reign to do what I feel will be really cool um, now he has got a few little requests uh, which are fine 
Um, but I think what we need to do is just get into designing uh, and everything like that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to just get started. Let's go, guys. Let's go. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Okay, so because we're doing a, a design uh, that's going to be slightly different to the way I do things, we need paper and pen and that sort of stuff. So, um, so I need a little bit of space at the bottom, but this is just to get an idea. So, okay. So that's the basic shape. I've got this material. And I'm going to want... Oh my god, this is going so wrong so quickly. So obviously this has got a house. This is where the chassis is. It's got a house of blade. So I want about this much for blade. So it's going to come out to here. Let's uh, make this one. God, I'm so... I'm all fingers and thumbs today, guys. Right, so that long, I'll do it like this. Okay, now he wants it to be out there. I've done this wrong already. <laughs> but that's why we have paper, we can turn it around. Right, sod it, we're just going to do this as a chassis. It doesn't have to be to scale. Sorry guys, I'm a, a little bit slow today. It's one of those days, I feel. Right. So it wants these, like, fins to come out. And I think they need to go to there. Yes. That's, that's it. I want it to go to there. So from there... And there. Um, now, the thing with this is, um, I'm going to actually hand solder these onto the metal. To do that, uh, I'm going to put um, a tiny little rivet, like right here, and then I'm going to rivet from inside out, which is really hard to do. But all I need to do is just hold this piece of metal in place while I heat it on. And once I've done that, we're golden. Uh, and he wants, we need to have somewhere, so it's going to be, so, oh, I like that, guys. That's nice. <laughs> Sorry, I, I like that kind of It kind of looks like a really evil dagger. And because we're hand soldering it in place, it doesn't matter about the rest. Should we just go straight down, which is a bit boring, or should we like over it up to... Yes. So to here... Yeah, I like that is awesome. And because we've got quite a lot of room. Oh, I like that. I really like that. I even like, I actually do like those angles. Is it, is this the right size? It is exactly thick enough. Excellent. So, that's what I'm going to go with. Yeah, and then we'll do a nice chunky pommel at the base. So it's got a lot of weight at the bottom. Um, about this much. So that's where the blade's going to stop. And so this will be whoop, this will be here. So then we're going to have yeah, that that works out really well. That means the main switch is going to be around there. Charging port here. 
screw, screw. That that works really well. That's really nice. Do I make that a bit longer? You know what? We'll just bring that out. Do I? I kind of like that more. Yeah, that's what I'll go with. I like that. It's good. Yes. That is it, that is it. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get that shape created and then I'll be back here and I'll put the shape, th that shape on here. Cut two of these because there's two fins and then we're going to start building guys. Awesome, I'll see you in a moment. Right, okay, so I blah blah blah. I've got the part that I want, which is really cool. Uh, so this will go on here, and we'll cut this out. Oh, so we have a template, um, which means I need to cut this to length. Uh, I will then also be cutting out the internal core, which house, which houses this part, which is all the internals. Uh, I will be cutting another piece that goes over this and that means the blaze will be riveted to that part um, not to the thinner thinner core um, and then we will most probably do a wrap or leather stitch on the handle body and the pommel so let's get started to infinity Right, so uh, I've got this part done. This is going to have the fins riveted to. So there's going to be a rivet going from the inside out and into the hole here. And then that'll 
lock it in place strong enough so that I can then hand solder this in place. So that's the easy bit. That's, I think, I'll show you what I mean. So this is a rivet. And getting the rivet in is a bit of a pain. So So that's the rivet inside. Now I'm going to have to bend that at an angle to get it to clamp on. Which will be a bit tricky, but it should, in theory, work. The problem, and this is what the problem is, cutting a huge amount of this metal off is going to be a pain. Now, I could go in the mill, and I could mill, and then mill, and then mill, and then mill, and that's going to take a lifetime. I could try and put an angle and mill it across. I think that's going to be the way to do it. Because if I mill across at an angle, then hopefully I'll be able to get rid of a lot of material. It'll just be a number of passes over and over again. So, to the mill. This is taking ages. I mean, this is. Oh, um, as you just saw there, I, uh, I replaced this bit because um, I know it's getting a bit more dull. So I replaced that. And the new, clean, brand new bit, not a massive improvement, a little bit easier cutting, but. This is going to take a really, really long time to do it this way. I have another final idea I could use, um, which is I have a jigsaw. So I could clamp this part in place and then use a jigsaw to go through. So let's set that up, shall we, and see what happens that way. I can just imagine this blade's going to break after so long. It's a very old blade. No. Right. Okay. Okay, so this is um, considerably faster with a jigsaw than uh, on the mill, so that's good. Um, I'm not super close um, to the line, but that's fine. My thinking is we'll cut this first, take it further down on the mill, and then we can file, sand it down, so we'll do it that way. It's, this is still going to take... A huge amount of time. Um, this is most going to be times 900 speed and I'll be honest this is most probably going to take me at least an hour to cut through this metal just to cut the metal with the jigsaw uh, and then it's more than likely going to take another hour at least on the lathe and then maybe half an hour? <laughs> an hour hand sanding it so and I need to put a bit of a like blade edge on it because I really want that uh, so anyway that's what's got to happen uh, the reason I paused is because um, I've just had a thought I could get a drill bit and these little three 
outcuttings, I could actually just drill those out, which would actually make my job a lot easier. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get a drill bit and do that. I've been like that for nearly two hours solid. Oh. So that's, look how bad that is. Look how bad they are. They're so rough. But the bulk of the metal's off now, thank God. Oh. I'll be honest, I might, I don't know, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the end of part one guys, um, I think part two, it's, it's going to take me hours to get these to profile, so I think part two will be uh, next 
and in part two we will get these finished off uh, so yeah I will see you in part two